Dan Uni, A1 Carpet Care. Rolling three vans deep today and I'm headed to an emergency water extraction. Shouldn't take too long because it's just one room that's affected, pipe broke in a wall, and this is for one of our many property management companies that use us. As soon as I get done with this one, I'm rolling solo to this. I've got some blowers and dehumidifiers to set up for drying, but as soon as I get done with this, I'm hopefully gonna be meeting up with uh, Cole and Lyndon and shooting some sweet video of some really rough empties, uh, rentals that we're doing, and they're rough. So it's gonna be a great day, a money maker for sure. We're off to a great start. We just got done doing B&I. It's a little chilly out, which is why I'm wearing my little, my little long sleeve runners get up. I'm not actually going on a run. I'm going on a work related run but thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so don't forget to subscribe to our channel below and ring the bell so you get notified every time we drop a new video all right this is the first of two pretty rough rentals and this one actually looks way worse in person than it does on camera for some reason the camera didn't pick up nearly as much of the soiling as I was hoping it would uh, but you can see it's very very heavily soiled it's a really high density which you can see the pooling on the top there but it's a really high density nylon carpet that's probably 20 years old and we're only going to showcase these two rooms for the actual cleaning process, although I am going to walk you through the entire house because there was four other rooms, a very large hallway, and a set of stairs as well. But then all downstairs is this tile, and you can tell, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but it's very, very slippery. And so coming down these stairs after we precondition them, and these stairs turned out amazing, even though they were very heavily soiled as well. And this is just a beige color, same type of carpet though, a nylon cut and pile high density and then you've got that green kind of bluish green carpet in the bedrooms a couple of the bedrooms although uh, this bedroom down here at the end had the beige as well again very heavily soiled but all these rooms turned out amazing there was a few spots in this first room on the left down here um, not this one but the beige one um, this one actually wasn't too bad but the one down here on the left and this is a big home beautiful floor plan this one here has got some pretty rough stains and these ones didn't come out all the way but they lightened up significantly. When I did the initial estimate for the property management company I told them that we were not hoping, we were not hopeful that those would be completely eradicated although uh, they're much much lighter than they were. And then this big room has a big spot of paint that's about 80% removed now. But again we skipped over this entire process and only showcasing these two rooms otherwise the video would have been like three hours long but of course here we are um, unfortunately I showed up late to the party so I missed one of my favorite parts the dry soil removal and there was a ton of BBs little tiny BBs in this carpet so they got out a ton of dry soil and BBs um, but again I missed all that for videoing but here we are laying down the soap free detergent or preconditioner and Linden's going pretty heavy so for all six of these rooms that long hallway and the set of stairs we ended up putting down 10 gallons of preconditioner which is quite a bit even though with this style of carpet and how heavily soiled it was we had to go pretty heavy with that and of course you can see Cole he's already setting up the counter rotating brush machine or CRB to follow Linden with the agitation portion of the cleaning process. So the first thing we always do is remove as much dry soil as we can with commercial vacuuming which was already done and then the next thing we do is precondition or put down a soap free detergent. We usually almost always use an inline spray and there you can see that spot it's already coming out. Just a, It's crazy how just doing the vacuuming, the preconditioning and then this machine here which again is called the counter rotating brush machine. Uh, which basically just kind of scrubs or agitates or massages the preconditioner into the face yarn of this this carpet. Uh, but it's amazing how just doing those few steps can actually render the carpet looking clean, like it's already done. So 
this was a pretty potent brew of preconditioner we actually spiked it because again this carpet hadn't been cleaned in many many years probably since the last time we cleaned it which i think was three or four years ago and it needed a very thorough cleaning so again this is cold just scrubbing that in taking his time doing a really good job with um, this step on the stairs that you saw going up we actually used that drill brush if you've seen any of our other vlog um, where we agitate stairs you probably noticed that but that worked really well on the stair the staircase which the property manager that was one of her initial issues was are you guys going to be able to get the stairs clean and of course i thought well that's not nearly as big of a deal as some of these stains in the rooms but it did come really really clean considering it's not perfect but this is a great example about how spending a little bit of extra money initially with a higher end higher quality carpet like this pays off tremendously in the long run because again this carpet being that it's a nylon and it's so high of a density a heavier weight carpet it probably costs significantly more than just a cheaper polyester back in the day of course this carpet's probably 20 years old but again that just cleans up really really well when you buy a higher quality carpet so this of course is our final final step well minus the grooming i guess um but this is just the hot water extraction. A lot of people refer to this as the steam cleaning portion. And we have Cole on the wand. He's back from a little vacation of strep throat, unfortunately. Took him out for, I think, three days. But a lot better than the last time. Because the last time he had strep throat, I think he was out for a full week. So getting better. But he is doing the hot water extraction with the Devastator wand, which, again, if you haven't watched any of the recent vlog episodes, this is a titanium eight flow four jet wand which just means that for every minute he holds that trigger down this wand flushes out eight gallons um, again every minute so it's a pretty good flush there's uh, there are people professionals in the industry that have a 10 or either a 12 flow wand it's all personal preference i've been through a lot of different types of wands and this is probably one of my favorite wands that we've had but this again is my favorite step of our cleaning process even though the CRB, the counter-rotating brush machine, is a very rewarding step also, when you actually do the extraction and you get to see, you know, the carpet kind of change in front of your eyes, it's, it is very, very rewarding. And we get a lot of comments on the videos on social media and YouTube about how uh, rewarding this step is just watching it. And I'm like, always say, well, just imagine being able to do it. And it is incredibly rewarding to watch you know some of these carpets transform before your eyes so because i knew that i didn't want to film the entire job cleaning process and just thought it would be better to just you know focus in on two of the the more heavily soiled rooms for the video i went ahead and helped them clean pretty much the entire other part of the house and up to this point of course this is the last two rooms that we did um, but it was pretty incredible because start to finish we were able to get out of this job in under two hours, which it was a $395 job um, with three people on it, not too bad. And it was just one of those jobs where because of the size of the job, we were pretty much able to keep almost all three of us moving the entire time. Now, right before this job, I was actually at an emergency water extraction for a property management company that had a spigot break off the side of the house and flood out the master bedroom. It wasn't too flooded, but the tenants had a box spring that was sitting on the floor of their carpet which was pretty soaked so we ended up moving that over unfortunately they did not have renter's insurance so that would not be covered and I did tell them that even though it was clean water and I would do my best to prop the uh, box spring up off of the floor and dry that as well that it was more likely going to need to be replaced so uh, but no we sucked out uh, about 25 gallons of water and again that was a class one category one um, water extraction meaning just fresh water and only um, affected on the carpet a little bit of the baseboard and sheetrock I'm probably gonna have to remove the baseboard tomorrow I'm gonna take moisture readings in the wall and the baseboard again tomorrow and make sure but I did put one low grain refrigerant dehumidif de dehumidifier in that unit and four air movers to help get that room dry um, but here we are just finishing up this room here and with the exception of that pooling, which is just those lighter areas that kind of look like clouds on top of the, the fiber there, that's called pooling. It really only occurs with a really high density nylon like this. 
Um, but with the exception of that, it turned out really, really good. And there's nothing you can really do to correct the pooling. It's just the way that this carpet naturally wears. But all the spots and stains seem to come right up and out of there with a little bit of treatment here and there. Um, so again, overall, turned out really, really good. And just like I said, the carpet actually looks worse in person than it does on camera. This one actually turned out looking a lot better in person than it did on camera. At least that's my opinion. So overall today we just had uh, four jobs total, to one of which was this one here and it was very, very big. And then we had another um, empty one that was, I actually told them they needed to replace that carpet, um, but the owner decided they wanted to have the rooms clean and then just replace the bedrooms, or just replace the living room. So. We cleaned that as well, but um, had a couple estimates as well. And then, of course, we started that emergency water extraction, and we finished another one out that we started several days ago. And this is Linden with the final step, which is just the grooming of the carpet to kind of get rid of the lines that are left behind. Some people call them pizza slices or shark's teeth, but we don't always groom out, but we like to groom the carpet, um, especially when I've been stepping all over it to get good video for you guys. <laughs> So here in just a second, you'll get to see what we pulled out of there, coming out of the dump tank or the recovery tank. Here it comes. And yeah, that was really, really dark. So pretty incredible. But definitely just wanted to say thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment for us, letting us know your favorite part. And also, if you have any ideas for upcoming episodes for our vlog, something you'd like to see more of or less of, please comment below. And don't forget, again, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and ring the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new daily vlog. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.